Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the AOSP extended ROM for the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T so stay tuned for that. So guys, the AOSP Extended ROM, what is it about? For the most part, it is a ROM which is a AOSP based ROM, so you are going to get most of the stuff out of it, but it has a lot of features. So uh, as I've said, being an AOSP based ROM, you get a little bit of, uh, well, the benefits of not running lineage i guess so you are going to have a better stability you are going to have a better compatibility with certain applications like facebook and all that so that is there apart from that uh, this is a very stable rom and i really do like that let's get started on the settings now first of all in the settings menu in the about phone page you can see uh, it is aex which is as aosp extended now this is aosp based not calf it is aosp so you are going to have all the uh, latest and gear is from that uh, you do have an update checker and this is the latest version right now which is the 3.2 version which was released on 25 I, I really do like this ROM which has been a very very good for me uh, apart from that what I want to say in this is that um, this is 7.1.1 which is the latest and greatest it does have the February security patches which is awesome that is the latest one which is available bottle number does show unknown but that is easily fixable with something like um, a built out prop tweak that's not a problem the kernel is called unicorn blood which i thought was a very interesting name um that is uh, that is 3.18.44 so that is the latest kernel i guess uh you are getting the latest in that regard so that is it in the about phone page now as the extended means it has a lot of options and i mean a lot of options i mean it's a uh, resurrection remix comparable sort of an option so i would say this is the aosp resurrection remix available so that does work out very well uh, i'm just going to give you guys a gist of it let's get started now here is the status bar items you can customize all of this now something which i uh, found interesting is volt now it does have volt enabler so that will enable the little icon here but it will still show the devices HD capable in the status bar, which I found to be a little uh, counterintuitive. I mean, the only reason for this thing is to know that if your device is HD capable and having this thing here, uh, it's kind of annoying. So I would have liked to see something different in that regard, uh, but hey, it is there. Uh, apart from that, clock and its options are available, which is like normal ROMs. You do have battery st uh, status. You can customize all of this here. Uh, traffic indicators are available. You can customize that. Uh, carrier label, uh, ticker animation can be enabled. Miscellaneous extensions, you can enable notification count, double tap to sleep, brightness control, all of these breathing animations. In the notification panel settings you do have quick settings where you can customize the uh, number of rows and all that also you can re re remove all of these icons now this does have the uh, running services icon also you do have customization for the layout and seven is the maximum for the quick setting tiles which is uh, kind of sad but hey it is available and i personally do prefer seven so that is uh, there you do have scrollable uh, small quick setting tiles that is also available in the notification option you do have power notification control so you you can enable that that is how i am using this on level one so that it appears here but doesn't appear here so that is also available apart from that it does have force explain notification all that is available headset notification controls are available which is a huge huge thing for me because i hate the default five second timeout which is too long for me and uh disable uh this snooze timer so that is also something which i do in the navigation bar settings it does have nav bar you do have customization it does have smart bar and fling settings uh for those who are in interested recent menu you do have recent ui so me show memory bar immersive reasons all that is available it doesn't have really have omni switch or slim reason which was available with the other roms uh but i personally prefer this one and that does work out also it does have the clear all button here which is pretty amazing lock screen settings you do have lock screen ui setting where you can have a double tap to uh, sleep device anywhere on the lock screen fingerprint unlock which is a really great feature if you're restarting your phone or applying a subterranean theme this is oms supported uh whenever you apply it the system ui is going to restart and you don't need to enter your password to get into the phone you can just use your fingerprint unlock so that is there but again 
security issues if you don't want to use that well you do need to think about it apart from that uh, it does have a lot of green items lost new weather all that can be customized here and that is available in the system settings there are general tweaks which is this one uh, toast icon media scanner behavior on boot they disable the FC notifications if you don't want that also screenshot type can be customized to the selection mode or the full screenshot mode it also has suspended actions which I found really interesting because this was an option which was available in the earlier models of uh, Android custom ROMs like I believe Lollipop or a previous one um, KitKat had this option which was really cool for battery saving uh, if you enable that when the screen is off for about uh, 34 seconds it will disable the GPS after the screen of delay or switch to 2G or disable the uh, mobile data all together but uh, for me well it doesn't really work that way um, I would have liked to have that and screen, screen on delay action if your screen is turned on and only after 115 seconds is everything here uh, selected back so uh, that is there so as you can see the screen the uh, the data is disabled the GPS position is also going to be disabled there and that is one thing which I feel is a really good I mean it is amazing if you are someone who wants to conserve all bit of uh, battery life which you can get with it but well it can be a double-edged sword also uh, so that is something which you must understand from here now it does have blur settings which is uh, the status bar and all that blur which is available and that does work out very well. Animation settings are available where you can customize that. Uh, button customization is also available where you can customize the power menu options. Also you do have volume rocker customization. It doesn't have the keyboard cursor control which is kind of a bummer because I use that a lot. Uh, it's not available but hey it does work out. Uh, back button, home button and overview button can be customized for three options which is single tap, long press and double tap. Privacy guard. Now privacy guard is also available where you can customize uh, if this application is going to have more uh, more I mean you can customize what all uh, the what all permissions a certain application has so that is really cool apart from that uh, display options is whatever there is uh, it does have ambient display uh, it does have columns for the dashboard uh, icons in the settings menu which is really cool which I have enabled to do it, it can go up to three gestures are available which is for the uh, double tap the power button for camera also this option is available it's a basic one the uh, alert slider does work out and that is something which I really appreciate many ROMs are there which doesn't have this thing working not sure why that is but uh, this one it is working so yeah that is it in the settings menu um let me show you guys the end to do benchmark score which was uh pretty high which is about 156 to 100 which is on the higher side of for any usb rom but it is still comparable to a really really great rom as you can see that is a huge score and the gaming uh using the phone uh, in general it's a very very good uh experience uh, also let's talk about battery life as you can see uh battery life which i ha have I've been using it for about 26 hours or 30, 30 hours almost, uh, 3 hours of uh, charging time I guess. Also the battery drain for active is about 2.6, that's right now because I have restarted a few times. A screen off uh, drain is also pretty good but uh, about 52% of usage is there for the screen off but that is because I had my uh, Wi-Fi hotspot running so that is there you can see the curve of it nine hours of usage and it's about 50 less a little bit less than 50% and the battle life is a very interesting prospect in this one the camera now the camera option is pretty cool um, I didn't have to flash the HAL1 patches but it does have a uh, HDR mode enabled right away and you do get that uh, as I, as you can see the uh, there is a little bit of noise but again uh, there is no ROM which does not have noise and especially with uh, this thing it does work out very well that's one other thing which I noticed with the camera on this ROM uh, is that it, it, the uh, viewfinder does get stuck a little bit uh, just after selecting the photo and uh, Clicking it again does not work, which I guess a hell one uh, patch is going to fix that. I haven't tried it out, but if you restart the camera, it does work out. It just works out again. And uh, Google camera does work out. So that is the stock one also, which does work out and uh, that should do it. Uh, that doesn't have any issues with anything. So that should work out very well. Yeah, let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for the... Uh, uh, AOSP extended ROM 
which is kind of similar to what a pixel had and uh, that that is it it will turn into a g logo and uh, that is pretty much it with the boot logo but still it's pretty cool here it is i think that should be it about the rom um something else which i want to talk about is the installation process now first time i flashed this rom i had a few trouble uh, team win recovery just went nuts. I couldn't get back to it. I had to flash uh, TWRB again to get back to this ROM again. I did not flash Super Soup package. Now that was a reason I did have this problem. So when you're flashing this ROM, flash the ROM, flash the G apps, and then flash the Super Soup 2.79 stable version, and then you will be good to go. If you do not flash 2.7.9, 2.79 version of the Super Soup package, well, you're going to have problems, uh, you won't be able to get back to team in recovery project and you're going to have an issue with that. So yeah, just a fair warning, do keep that in mind. Apart from that, I guess that should be it about the ROM. Um, as I've said, I really did like this ROM for the bad life of it, the performance of it is amazing. Uh, I really do get a very good frame rate for games and all that. I do play a little bit of games like uh, Little Fox and all that. It does work out very well. Um, I didn't have enough of a problem for me to hate this ROM. Uh, the only problem is I do have everything uh, which I need set up in my Restoration Remix ROM. So I don't want to ditch that and go to a new ROM. But hey, this is a ROM which uh, I will wholeheartedly start using again because it is a very interesting ROM. So yeah, that is it about the ROMs. I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video while I play this just because I can. And uh yeah hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time and i died bye